the first quality of the human mind if you don't have a strong intellect is that the mind rambles you understand you are sitting here in the middle of your work day all of you have come here obviously because you want to learn something and you've come here from your busy schedule to learn something your own mind won't let you do that so you're sitting here looking at me and the mind will go oh at three o'clock where do i have to go what is the meeting anxiety about the future or you are worried about what happened in the past last time when we had this meeting i didn't make a good impression this time you understand so all the time your mind is either rambling in worries of the past or anxieties for the future this destroys your peace and productivity see i speak to ceos often on these corporate seminars you know and i ask them because you look up to these people as successful and uh, i say you guys are in the office 9 hours a day how long are you actually working hmm what do you think they say or oh, you tell me what you think you do I, even if your boss is here don't worry you be you understand because he is in the same position so don't worry see what i mean is once you understand your mind is always rambling in the past and the future what do you think suppose you are in the office 9 hours how much are you actually in the present focusing on that work of that time how much do you think less than an hour you don't have to be that humble you know <laughs> how can you work there your boss is not here no huh huh we uh, focusing on at that moment what you're supposed to be doing whatever you you've been wanting to do see like over here you've come here wanting to listen to this right now your work is to listen to what i'm saying your own mind won't let you it will go and i told you next meeting or previous meeting or what happened what will happen so what do you think in in the whole day what do you think it is he says an hour okay 3 hours. hours okay anybody else huh 6 hours 6 hours if have you must be a big big shot you know huh <laughs> see most people the general consensus anywhere all over the world is between 30 and 40% do you know what that means you have no idea of the implication of that what should take you 3 hours or 4 hours to do actually takes you 10 hours and that's why you keep saying the whole world this is the problem i don't have time i don't have time it's not you don't have time you don't have an intellect to keep your mind in the present if you could do that you would have all the time in the world and not only does this rambling tendency of your mind destroy your productivity this is what causes you to be tired all the time and fatigued hmm that's why at the end of the day you need a drink at the end of the week you need a weekend today's friday right everybody have a great weekend have a great why doesn't anybody say on monday have a great week huh we we'll put him in asylum over here eh? i really want to start that monday morning have a great week this guy is crazy man at the end of the year you need a vacation that's all you look forward to so you are looking forward to getting away from what you do for enjoyment what a sad life <laughs> trying to get away from things to enjoy why because you're tired why are you tired it's not because of your work i'll prove it to you anybody here have a young kid 3 4 5 6 years old anyone Hmm? no all thinking ah huh? not to have children is good intellect <laughs> so see what i mean is a guy, father comes home from work he's got a young kid and the kid is jumping all over him dad how are you how is this and he's like okay okay relax i'm tired man i'm i'm tired and what did you do all day that you're so tired huh you drove to work in your air conditioned car Uh, you uh, went to your air conditioned office you had a few meetings you had a nice lunch sipped a few cups of coffee mm, and then drove home in your air conditioned car 
and then you come home. I'm so tired, man. Oh, what a day. Huh? And the and your son who's been jumping, kicking, dancing, running around all day. He's so full of energy, right? Why is that? Physically, you have far more strength than him. You can pick him up and toss him around. There's no comparison. And yet you are tired when he's so energetic. Because children have no worries of the past, no anxiety for the future. That's why they have boundless energy. Only adults feel tired. It's not your work. It's your inability to keep your mind in the present. That's what fatigues you. Worries and anxieties. It destroys your peace. It destroys your productivity. It destroys your energy.